Right, welcome ladies and gents. We've got a rumour here that Kathleen Kennedy's getting a grubby mix into the Lucasfilm fray again. I mean, obviously, you know, she's the head of Lucasfilm. But what I mean by this is, uh, yeah, trying to push out another poop movie. Just squeezing. Squeezing one out. So, the rumour is Kathleen Kennedy is expediting the Daisy Ridley Ray movie. And, understandably... Disney executives are terrified of another The Marvel's failure. Yeah, I can believe that. Can you believe that? Let me know down below. Uh, and also, side note, let me know where you're from. I can look at my analytics on YouTube, but I'm always interested to see, direct from you guys, where you live, where you're at, where you're tuning in from. So anyway, let's dive into this today. Hit subscribe if you are new here and enjoy this type of content. No pressure if not. Uh, and turn those bell notifications on. So, a new rumour claims <sighs> that Kathleen Kennedy has just taken a deuce on a toilet. No, sorry. Um, is expediting the production of the previously announced Ray movie. Um, because she just wants to excrete a whole bunch of diarrhea onto the screen. Uh, so, it's being directed by Sharmino B. Chinoy. If you didn't know who that is, she is an activist, first and foremost. Yep. Self-proclaimed activist, actually. Not only is the film reportedly being rushed into production, because that's... That's smart, isn't it? But a number of Disney executives are terrified that the film will end up being another failure like the Marvels, which it I don't doubt that it will it will be, actually, to be fair. I genuinely think it will be. And the reason why I think this, right, it's not necessarily that uh, you know, sort of people are sick and tired of Star Wars or things like that in general. I think people are, absolutely. But if you remember the sequel trilogy obviously set a bunch of stuff up and people wanted to watch it. So they tricked people into watching The Force Awakens. Not well, They didn't really trick people. People were excited for it and they watched it. Been a long time. Star Wars hadn't been around. They went and watched it and they were like, well, you know, okay, lots set up. Interesting. Let's, let's see what happens moving forwards. So they'd had a lot of people's attention from there because there was a period where there was no Star Wars. So people were actively curious. This... People know what to expect. They know what to expect with Disney uh, handling Star Wars. They know what to expect with Rey uh, and her sort of character. They know what to expect, generally speaking, from Star Wars because not only have you had the sequel trilogy, but you've had numerous series been released. And you don't have that same hunger. You know, the fans aren't salivating for a Star Wars feature film. They're just not. They're not frothing at the mouth, waiting for this type of film to be released. So I really do think it will fail. No matter when it goes into production. Because I think it's that old saying, isn't it? You know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's take a look. So, uh, the latest rumour comes from WDW Pro. By the way, this article is that park place. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, and in the wake of a listing on the Film and Television Industry Alliance's website, the Ray film, allegedly according to that, will go into production uh, on April 7th next year. It's pretty bad, isn't it? So the listing confirmed a previous rumour from back at the end of November that Kennedy and Lucasfilm were trying to rush the film into production. So WDW Pro stated, she is allegedly in a very big hurry to get this movie into full-on full production. That includes trying to reserve locations very fast out of the strike as well as getting everything tucked away and done and put into place they want to move fast still i'm told not to expect this film out until the very earliest late 2025 but almost assuredly 2026 this means that even when this comes out it will still have been basically a decade since disney made money with star wars and made money with star wars is uh mm, playing fast and loose with that term that's for sure no disrespect to WDW Pro. So, uh, his latest information from his insider details. Disney executives are very worried about this because the Marvels. And here's where that worry comes from. The Marvels is unlikely to break $100 million at the domestic box office. It's basically not going to happen, FYI. Uh, and it's an unbelievable flop. Which it is. I mean, that film's lost somewhere in the region of $300 plus million for Disney. That's insane. Now, he says, what did the audience say about Captain Marvel for years? They said, we didn't want to go see Captain Marvel. We went because you told us we had to, to see what was going to happen in our favourite movies. Because this was wedged between um, Infinity War and Endgame. 
And then because it was not a good movie, now we dislike this character. And then the audience celebrated when Captain Marvel was not in other films very much. And then when Disney said, no, 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 she's popular, here's the movie, go see it, here's the sequel. Fans reacted poorly. Yeah. Literally no one went to watch this movie. Uh, Ray's magnitude's higher than that, Pro said. Because the way that Ray works is that when The Force Awakens came out, fans were told, you've got to see this to see all your original characters that you love. And that didn't happen. And then they were told, you've got to go see Last Jedi because you've got to see the actual Master Luke training Ray. And that didn't happen. It's that subversion tactic, basically. And then they were told, you've got to go see The Rise of Palpatine because you've got to see how this actually plays out. You've got, uh, we've got a super secret plan to make this all you know worthwhile. Like we're going to redeem all these characters. And that didn't happen. And then, you know, that's three big movies that people were forced to go see. Where their favourite heroes were desecrated and where Rey was elevated. People are just sick of being lied to and the subversive tactic. It's just a waste of everyone's time. So Disney executives know that this could actually be worse than Marvel's. Which it genuinely could be. So for the budget of the film. Uh, Pro said that his source informed him that Lucasfilm wanted $225 million for the budget. Well, Disney wants $170 million. So a difference of $55 million, I can believe that. Because for a film, I mean, that's make or break sometimes. Genuinely. So the Ray film was announced at Star Wars Celebration. We know all of this. Set 15 years after the events of the Skywalker Saga, Shamina Bey Chinoy will tell the story of rebuilding the new Jedi Order and the powers that rise to tear it down. The director then delighted fans by welcoming Daisy Ridley to the stage, confirming she'll be reprising her beloved role as Ray in the upcoming movie. Kennedy also said some stuff on uh, Dagobah Dispatch podcast. We've been talking a lot about going well into the past. And one of the things that's really knitting this all together, obviously, are the Jedi. What happened with the Jedi over time? Much like history. How did the Jedi evolve? They were wiped out with Order 66. Then they gradually have been coming back. The question that we're going to ask with the new Jedi Order with Rey is, does the galaxy need them anymore? Do they want them back? Yes, dipshit. So there's a lot of food for thought in what we're doing whether it's in the past present or future there's literally no thought in what you're doing aside from will this make me money it's the most disingenuous statement ever and she even says like stuff like people are so excited for it as well people really can't wait to have her back it's like no one fucking cares about this movie like at all no one cares about this movie um, and there was a leaked synopsis. So the sequel delves into Rey's courageous endeavour to restore the Jedi Order, where she assumes the role of a mentor to two promising young students, a girl and a boy. As her training progresses, it becomes evident that the girl possesses extraordinary abilities destined to emerge as the future leader. Which I said there and then when that leaked, it's just going to be a feminist film. The guy's going to turn to the dark side, because fucking of course it is. So there you go. Coming thick and fast. Kathleen Kennedy just squeezing out a big deuce on your face. And calling it the Ray movie.